Hey hello everyone my name is Dinesh Krishnan in this tutorial we're going to understand how to perform the NER named the entity recognizer using what in a core NLP library right so to do that what I have to do first we have the pipeline object right we have to enable the property call NER named entity recognizer once that is done let me create what you know the new class called NER example right the class is actually created I'm going to introduce what you know the public static wide main method once that is done obviously I'm going to call what you know now the Sanford core NLP Sanford core NLP this object instance can be get it by using what you know get pipeline we got that the pipeline actually enabled what you know NER property with NER property right that's done right so now I'm going to introduce the text call text equals I'm going to say my hey my name is Dinesh Krishnan and I have a friend his name is Robert right we both are we we both are living in New York right so now I have a string which says what you know hey my name is Dinesh Krishnan I have a friend his name is Robert we both are living in New York City right now if you look at it how many person name you can see right you can see what you know Dinesh Krishnan is one person name then Robert is what you know another person name okay how many city you can find you can find what you know New York is one city now you have to write a program to identify how many names available how many cities available in the sense the NER is the best option right so to do that you know let's follow this step now core document core document equals new core document I'm gonna pass what in the text that we have obviously we have to annotate this one Stanford NLP code NLP dot annotate I'm gonna pass what in the core document that we have once that is done so what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to what you know get the so token right so to get the token what I can do that you know list of the token actually going to give what you know list of label right so the list should be from Java dot little package once that is done I'm gonna call this actually what in you know, a core labels equal to so I'm gonna get it from the code document tokens which is going to give you the code labels once that is done I'm gonna do what you know iteration over the code labels so that is actually going to give us what in you know, a code label instance code label alright so here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna perform what you know the NER to perform the NER what I exactly have to do I'm gonna do what you know string NER equal to I'm gonna say code label dot get I'm gonna pass what you know the annotation class code annotation annotations dot the class actually called what you know named entity tag annotation you know pass that class which is going to give you what you know the particular NER for the each and every token right so now what I'm gonna do I'm simply going to what you know print uh, the actual text can be printed using what you know original text along with that I'm gonna print what you know the NER that we found right let me quickly run this program we'll see what is gonna happen here we go now we got what you know the output it says what you know it says clearly says that the Dinesh is actually what in a person the Krishna is actually what in a person actually what you know if you look at it the new arc is actually what you know state of province right which is completely meaningful now you can see what you know Robert is person we have three person and then we have what you know one province right let me actually what you know quickly change this uh, string I'm gonna change it as what you know Berlin right let me run this we'll see what is gonna happen here we go now the Berlin is city it's not what you know the state I mean the state of province that's what you know we got a city as an output now we can see that in a given string we can find what you know three person name so obviously Dinesh is one person another Krishna is another person obviously this is both together it's a person name and then we have one more thing called what you know the Robert right we have three person name and then one city available this is actually called what you know NER this can be used in many use cases in our real world application consider you are building the chatbot in the chat to your chatbot the customer says that hey this is John in the sense your chatbot has to respond hello John now how are we going to extract the John name from the given string 
So the best option is what you know, the NCNER. Thanks for watching.